Well, have you ever wondered if your electric meter is working properly after receiving a big bill you think just can't be right? It's a feeling that has haunted a Westlake woman for more than a dozen years. She claims she contacted the illuminating company dozens of times, only to later find out she'd been paying her neighbor's electric bill since June of 2000. Troubleshooter Joe Paganak is looking into this, and Joe, the obvious question, how in the world could this have happened? Well, Danita Lee, that's what we're trying to figure out here. Imagine paying your neighbor's bill for 12 years. It's a situation that cost the lady you're about to meet more than $6,000 for electricity she never used. It's one of Westlake's finest freestanding cluster communities, and Maria Latona had her custom unit built here back in 2000. As you might guess, she really enjoys the all-electric kitchen, but for more than a decade, she says the electric bills have been way out of line. And I was trying to justify the high bills and thinking, well, perhaps my builder-grade appliances aren't energy efficient. Becky says she repeatedly contacted First Energy about the big electric bills, bills she says would often exceed 200 a month. But Becky claims a crew was never sent to check her wiring or outdoor electric meter. Finally, she had to hire her own electrician who made a startling discovery. Maria has actually been paying her next door neighbor's electric bill for more than 12 years. The meters outside somehow got swapped. I've been paying a probably about a hundred dollars a month more than I should. Now First Energy confirmed the meter swap and admitted Maria paid more than six thousand dollars over 12 years for electricity she never used. However, the company agreed to only refund her for six years, sending her this check for three thousand four hundred and seventy one dollars. First Energy issued a statement saying the builder of the complex marked where the meters were to be installed, so the meter switch was not the fault of First Energy. Maria, of course, disagrees. It's it's beyond ridiculous. And they they should take responsibility for this. Now we've also contacted the builder of Maria's complex. We won't name the company because it's agreed to send a crew to the scene to try to determine if subcontractors somehow swap the wiring. If you feel your bill isn't right, First Energy urges consumers to call customer service. But as you might guess, Maria believes if First Energy had gotten out there early enough in the first place, this never would have happened. You know we're going to follow up on this Well, story. and it's frustrating because she says she tried to get them to come out yeah. many times. Right, right. But apparently did not get what she was. She's got a point on that one, that's for sure. All we'll right. follow up. Right. You're on it, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Thanks.